Hello there, this is Tercio, and it's time we get a real game of Civilization 6 hopped. So, let's hit single player. Let's create a game. And... Let's see who we pick right now. Honestly, it's not a hard decision. I'm gonna pick Philip II, of course, because we're gonna be playing Espana! So, there's Philip II. We're going to be playing in King Difficulty. Standard speed, we want continent, yes. We want a map size of standard. And I think that's all we're going to do, so start this game now. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers. Missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good word about your most holy empire. May the treasures they uncover fuel your quest to unite the world under one faith and one empire, making you truly the most Catholic king. Okay, so as Philip II, we have the El Escorial ability. Inquisitors can remove heresy one extra time. That is fantastic if, if somebody else is also trying to spread their religion in our lands. Combat units have a bonus of plus four combat strength against players following other religions. So we know that there can be up to seven religions in the game. That means uh, that we have this bonus against another six civilizations, which is quite a lot. Then we have the treasure fleet bonus. We may build fleets and armadas earlier than usual, thanks to mercantilism. Trade routes between multiple continents receive bonus gold for routes to other civilizations and bonus food and production for routes between your cities. Our unique unit is the Conquistador. And our unique improvement is the mission. So let's begin game. So I'm going to go for a religious victory because that's what Philip II does the best. And fortunately we spawned on the coast. Which is great because uh, we want to be able to do ships really fast to discover the new world. We do start off with cattle which is a bonus resource. We start with salt which is a luxury. Deer, which is another bonus. Fortunately, we do start with some desert tiles here. Let's actually check the le the the yields of that. That option, so yield I can see. Desert doesn't give us anything. We do start also with a mountain here. Uh, but we do start with crabs, which is also a very good bonus resource. And I think the this wheat is also in our reach. You can, uh, our borders have a reach of three tiles, so if we count one, two, three, this city is able to reach this wheat. Fantastic. Uh, I'm a bit unhappy with these desert tiles, but it will have to do. Maybe, maybe if we discover enough desert down here, we, will, we can do a fantastic Petra. So, first off, I'm going to move my warrior into this jungle here to check things out. We get some fish resource there. As for me, um, I think the best thing to do would be to settle in place. Because, I mean, moving south is not going to benefit me in any way. Because I can still reach the wheat. And there's more desert tiles down here. Moving north is not going to help much either because we would be settling on top of a desert. There's some rainforest here, but they are actually in range. One, two, three. Yeah, they're all in range. So that's not a problem either. I really am curious what's behind the mountain, though. So I should check that out. We do start in the coast, though. So that is plus one uh, housing that it gives. So we're going to settle Madrid here. We get a boost to sailing because we settled next to the sea. And who would think that Madrid is now a coastal city? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, um, let's actually choose production. Let's see what we can get up. We do have five production a turn, which is not bad, actually. 
We're going to go with a scout first. We need to explore around us. And as for research, I mean, we do require animal husbandry for the cattle and for the deer. And we need mining for the salt. As the salt is a bit out of reach at the moment. Oh, wait. We discovered wheat here. That is going to be fantastic for growth. It seems that we do have lots of desert around here. So probably I'm going to have to aim for Petra. So I think first off we're going to go with Animal Husband. 36 turns. Really? Oh, nine turns. Okay, that, that must be a bug at the moment because it takes sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the game to update the yields and the turn timers. So that's pretty much it. Next turn. So this warrior, I, I suspect this is still coast. So we're actually going to move this way. Oh, and we found a tribal village. Just out of curiosity, I'm just going to take the yield icons out. And I'm going to put the continent lens. This is Atlantica. All right. So this is still the same continent. That tribal village must be ours, so let's capture it. Oh, has produced a great work, Tooth of the Prophet. Created by a martyred apostle in 3920 BC. Displayed in the palace in Madrid. Okay. So it's generating faith. Oh my god, and it's generating tourism. Tourism, we don't care much about it because we're not going for a culture victory either. So... But the important thing is, is this faith already is giving us plus four faith at the beginning of the game. We are going for a religious victory, so this is incredible, incredible start. I love it. Oh, yes. Love that. Thank you, Tribal Village. That four faith. Oh, my God. We're going we're gonna to get a Pantheon so soon. All right, so let's go this away. Bom dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Ok, Pedro II. Uh, we discovered Brazil. Um, actually, I do not know. I, I don't know Pedro, Pedro's uh, personality. I don't know. I, I, I think he's a peaceful guy. That's what I suspect. He's a peaceful guy with um, a focus on culture. So, I'm actually going to say it's an honor to meet you. Come to Brazil. Do you know how to dance samba? It doesn't matter. You will enjoy the carnival regardless. Uh, we all have to dan dance salsa. Dance samba, sorry. And there's Rio, which is the capital. And for meeting another sieve, we boosted writing. There's Brazil's warrior. And there's Brazil itself. Let's actually see what Pedro's agenda is. Patron of the arts. Like civilizations who are not competing for great people and will recruit great people whenever possible. Just like losing a great person to another Civ. The only great people I'll be aiming to get is uh, Great Prophets. I don't think he will want to get Great Prophets, so maybe... Maybe we can get on his good side. In fact, let's see, our relationship is neutral. We have a minus four for unknown reasons at the moment, but I would I would be interested in increasing increasing our relationship with Pedro, so we can be buddies and then later on convert him to my religion. Oh yes, Brazil, Carajo, Brazil. Okay, so that is clearly closed. So we're going to surround this mountain this way, and we're going to discover all of this. Let's see what we got there. Oh, great. Spearman. Barbarian Spearman. Maybe I would be able to take it out with my warriors. No, because Spearmen have a bigger strength than me. So we're actually going to skip. We're going to skip fighting them. And look at all these desert tiles, mate. <laughs> Petra would be fantastic. If I settle the city right slap between these two oases, oh, crap. Is that a horseman? Yep. I think it's time to actually make another warrior, perhaps. Let's make, yeah. Yeah, or a slinger. Let's make a slinger. 
the scout, scout my boy, he's going to explore this way. And we've got a tribal village, we're going to go for that soon enough. Uh, let's go this way. We found ivory. So already, this is looking good. I mean, the oasis gives three food and one gold each. Desert tiles don't give anything, except for these hilly tiles here. We've got another oasis here. Imagine settling a city right right here to get all these oasises and stuff. Oh my god, that would be fantastic. And a Petra city here. I'm just I'm just savoring the moment. I'm just I just can't wait to actually settle here. It's risky though, because if somebody steals Petra from me, I'm stuck with a shitty city in the desert. <laughs> so I have to be careful. Next turn. Okay, so there's an our barbarian scout. Should be careful with him. Oh my god, that horseman is following me. And look, they're Jesus Christ. They can walk on top of water. Okay, let's actually go this way. We have to go back to Madrid. I don't want to fight the horseman. It's been extremely dangerous. Let's actually... Uh, um, should I just attack? Yeah, let's attack the uh, the scout with my scout. Scout and scout action there. So I can then attack them with the warriors later on. Brazil still exploring. Here comes the horsemen, they're really chasing my warriors. Oh my god. Uh, they didn't do much damage to me. If I fortify... They won't be able to do much to me. Let's go over to the wheat. And we found pearls. That's great. Two pearls, in fact. We could found another coastal city as well here, just to get these resources. The crabs are already in our borders. Okay, the horsemen are attacking us. As we're fortified, I think we have the advantage here. Indeed, we do. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Now, as this is the uh, first playthrough, full playthrough that I'm doing of Civic 6, I'm going to leave Sean Bean narrating everything. So, yeah. In, in, for, in other playthroughs, I'll just skip it. But I want to listen to them the first time I, I, uh, I see them. So, this tribal village was a bit useless. It just higgled our scout. Now, that sucks. I was expecting a, a nice bonus. Oh my god. Spearman. To be careful. Okay, we can finish off the the horseman. Yes, we can. Let's do that. Oh yes. We got him. And we finished Animal Husbandry, of course. So, the next thing that we can do... We can go for mining for the salt. Or we can go towards sailing to get the crabs. I mean, how are we in amenities? We got plus one amenity. Let's go for sailing. I mean, I want some galleys. I want some ships already. Let's go sailing. And we get to choose a pantheon so early. Yes, thanks to that to that artifact we, we uh, saw there. So well, let's choose carefully. Let's see. We've got Dance of the Aurora. Holy Sight Districts get 1 plus 1 faith from the adjacent Tundra tiles. We don't have any Tundra there. Desert Folklore. Holy Sight Districts get plus 1 faith from adjacent Desert tiles. This would be incredibly interesting, especially if we, if we settle in the desert. Adjacent Rainforest tiles. No... I'm already sold on the Desert Folklore, but I'm just having a look here. Let's see. March Oasis and Floodplains. Fishing boats, food from camps. Uh, I think the best right now. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's go Desert Folklore. We are people of the desert now. Plus one faith from adjacent desert tiles. Holy shit. Let's do that. 
And we get a boost to mysticism. Great. Okay, so one second. I'm going to check the tech tree one minute here. Because I really want to go and get astrology. After sailing, I'll get astrology. Then I'll go mining. Alright, I'll go in that order. I really want astrology after sailing, just so I can get my religious holy city districts stuff up and running. So I'm going to try and get away from those spearmen. In fact, that is a land choke point there. Okay, that scout reappeared. We can fight again. Let's do that. Let's see if I'm able to weaken it. Alright. Next turn. I think I'll be able to attack it with my warrior. And I'll be able to destroy it. So let's do that. Oh yeah, no more barbarians around here. And we got promotion. Fantastic. We're going to heal the scout though first before continuing our exploration. We're going to get the slinger now. I actually forgot to manage my citizens. What a big mistake. Perhaps I'm not working the best tiles. Well, that's hard because we have... I mean, desert, and we've got some sea tiles here. That, so, it, yeah, I mean, the game already knew what to do. We're going to conserve the cattle, though. And we're going to conserve this one as well. I'm, I'm going to focus heavily on growth at the moment. We need that growth. Okay, next thing to build in Madrid is going to be... I mean, I'm a bit worried about that barbarian encampment there. Maybe I should get another warrior? Nah, let's get a builder first. Builder, then warrior. In fact, I don't know if you can queue here. Can you queue like in Civ 5? We got the builder. Can I queue a warrior? Nope. It just changed it. So, builder. Okay, I'll just do that later on. This warrior has to fortify until healed and this slinger will just fortify in the city to protect it it is not wisdom but authority that makes a law so we got code of laws finally we can already spec our first policies we're going to go for discipline for the extra combat strength against barbarians and we're going to go with god king for the extra faith oh yes Great, everything is going fantastically well. Our faith is skyrocketing. So, uh, the next civic that we can do. I could either go for craftsmanship, foreign trade, to go from trade routes. Mm. Does give us a joint war, gives us the trader. Mysticism, though. Mysticism is the one we want early on, so we're going to go for that. So we go foreign trade mysticism, so we can get revelation, which gives us great profit points. And the oracle, of course, patronage of great people costs twenty-five percent less. Faith districts in the city provide two great person points of their type. Uh huh. Okay, and it gives us plus one faith. Now, one thing though. I need a wild card. I need wild card for that. So it's not going to be entirely useful. Hold on. Getting mysticism right now is not really going to help, is it? Unless I go for political philosophy to change. Yeah, to change um, my government. So foreign trade mysticism, then craftsmanship, then early. Okay. You know what? First, we're going to go for and trade. And perhaps we'll go... We'll go with the Oracle as well. It's a wonder. Yes. Okay. Early Empire? Nah. Foreign trade. Done and decided. 
Oh, we actually get the Great Works button as well. Great. There's our scout. It's been healed, so let's actually continue exploring. And we find another tribal village, which we're going to take. And we boosted the wheel. Let's see. Where's the wheel? Oh, there it is. It gives us a water mill and a heavy chariot. All right, heavy. The water mill gives us actually plus one food and plus one production. And it actually gives one more food from wheat resources. So that's good. It's pretty good. All righty. Sailing is going to finish now, and I'll be able to do astrology. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Thank you, Ben Franklin, for that uh, inspirational quote. Um, wow. Two crabs here. We're going to have to go this way to keep exploring. Uh, growth is a bit limited right now in Madrid. 30 turns for one pop, that's too much. Let's see what we can do to remedy that. We can't. We don't have enough food. I have to purchase a tile, though. I could purchase this for 50 gold, but I won't do that just yet. Just in case my borders expand. And probably if they do expand, I'll get the wheat. So I don't want to spend my money just yet. Let's go this way. And another tribal village. Great. We're going to pick it up. Go this way. Okay, so we only found Pedro at the moment. He's still on the same continent as us, so it's not going to give us any bonus for trading with him yet. Oh, and we gained 20 faith from that tribal village. We are certainly very faithful people. Oops, and food certainly went up again. Why? Maybe because of the amenities? I have no idea. Oh, because... Ah, oh, there we go. There's my theory. It did expand to the wheat. So we get that four additional food there. And the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is work the wheat tile to get even more food. Great. I did well in not spending the money. See, that's a lesson that we can all use for other games. Other games that we do of Civ 6. Never buy a tile if, uh, if you can wait for it. Because... The build is still coming out, so I, w I wouldn't be able to work it immediately, so I just waited. Great. This warrior is done healing. Let's actually send him down towards the spearmen, just to check them out. Maybe we can attack them somehow. I mean, we can't, because they're more powerful than me, but... Okay, yeah. The warrior has to go for the scout. Go for him. It's actually going to send the barbarians towards me, unfortunately. Oh, the spearmen are weakened. Probably because Pedro has been uh, attacking them. Alright. We're going to get our builder now. Oh, the, the scout wants to escape. Get him. Get him. He's going to get away, though. Okay, first thing is first. Let's go here. This scout keeps scouting out. We've got river. Let's go on top of the hill. Let's see what we see. More coast. Choose production in Madrid. We're going to build the galley... Um... I think the best thing we can do right now is get another settler. Early settler. Even though Madrid is very weak in food, but we can get the early settler right now. Let's do that. Early settler will do. Fast expand. 
Okay, let's give chase to that scout. Okay, wait, he's gonna he's actually going back to the barbarian encampment. I should actually fortify here and wait for the enemy to come towards me. Uh so we're gonna improve now the tiles to get to get stuff. Okay, this builder. Improve the camp, getting plus one gold from that deer. Oh, I'm really digging this music. Nice. Okay, here comes the barbarian horde. We're going to fortify on top of this hill. We're going to send our slingers also to reinforce our warriors. We're in need of more housing in Madrid as well. Let's see. That's a maximum of four, so we can support one more. Oh, I don't have pottery, so I can't build the granary. So I'm going to end up without uh, sufficient housing. Let's make go to the wheat, make a farm. And we boosted irrigation. Okay, that will help somehow with food. We actually get five food from there now. Okay, we're going to go back to the cattle. Did we just discover a tri- oh yes, we did. Okay. I'm going to go towards that tribal village. And there's the enemy slingers attacking us. Coming with a scout. We're going to position our sling on top of the hill. And we're going to attack with our warriors. There you go. Okay, let's, let's see what this tribal village gives us. Gives us a boost to archery. Nice. I'm actually liking this map. There's lots of desert though. I would really be happy if I'm capable of getting a Petra here. Okay, so they bombed me. And we discovered La Venta. I think it's a religious city-state. I don't know if we're the first ones to discover it though. Um, I already have a boost to archery, so it doesn't matter if I actually get to kill this here um, barbarian. So it doesn't matter, I'm just going to kill it. And I'm going to take the opportunity to promote this warrior. Oh, and we've got a boost to bronze working. Great. Let's see. Combat strength, there's melee and range units. Turns to combat strength when defending against range attacks. So let's get battle cry. I'm an offensive kind of person. Alright. Next turn. And we get the cattle resource now, which is going to give us plus one production. And we get a boost to horseback riding. I'm getting lots of boots here. Oh my god, an inspiration and craftsmanship. Let me just have a look how many boosts I have. Look at that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, after astrology, we're going to go pottery. I mean, astrology mining. Uh, hold on. Let me get my priorities straight. Scratch that. We're not gonna. We're gonna ignore mining at the moment. We we'll keep astrology and go pottery for the granary because we need more housing. I wonder if the oasis is considered fresh water. It should be considered fresh water, shouldn't it? Let's see. Oh, it is fresh water. It is fresh water. Yes. Fact. A really good place to settle. Would be here. We would be in reach of. The salt here, the wheat, the ivory. We wouldn't be in reach of this. Oh yeah, but Madrid is in reach of that salt. Okay, fantastic. I think the best place would be here. And stuck in the middle of the desert. Yeah. There. And we make a Petra. And holy, and holy site district surrounded by desert tiles. This is going to be a fantastic city. Oh yes. Great. Uh, but that's all the time we have for today. I'm actually really excited to continue this game because it looks really promising. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, remember to subscribe, and see you later.